Hello, first grade. Welcome to the second part of main lesson on Thursday, April 30. Here, oh, well, we have our same friends. Oh, except what's that? Okay. Bunny wants to come over and visit with Lamb. Hi, Bunny. So here's what we'll need for the second part of main lesson. Your yellow main lesson book. I have my paper, the lined paper with the times that we did yesterday, and meadow, um, number meadow nearby, just in case. And brands. We may also need our friends that were with us. And here's the bowl of friends I was talking about. They like to go together. So I have those on hand. So you can pause the video and go and get those different things and then press play and join us again. So I'm putting the crayons down below and the pencil and our friends, our meadow friends nearby. And also I'm going to put this times page we did nearby. I don't need it quite yet. This will come in a little bit later. And number meadow is going to stay nearby too. Kind of handy for us, just in case we need to look for it. So here we have our blank piece of paper. You're on the next blank page in your main lesson book. So that means uh, we also want to go landscape, side to side, and you want your spiral up at the top so it's out of the way. So I'm going to open up my crayons, get those ready. Oops, a couple fell out. And then... With Number Meadow, I am going to first uh, get out the blue block crayon. The blue block crayon is going to be the top and the side again. Our green block crayon. Wait a second. Oh, I jumped ahead. Bring the blue back. Blue is not going to be out right now. Sorry, blue. I, we got a little ahead of ourselves here. But green will be here, and we will have gold and yellow for number for times. So we'll do gold and yellow so it really sticks out. And, and gold and yellow will be on those two sides. And we'll also have our brown for the tree that we have. So the first one we do is at the top. So top, heaven, earth with the green, and then left with the tree, and then right with the golden yellow. I think instead of going heaven to earth with the tree, I'm going to grow the tree earth to heaven. So I'll start down here when I get there. So you can get your crayons ready. I've got mama bear, and I'm going across, and on the bottom, And then left, I'm going to grow the tree up. And then fill in a little bit of the green and brown, a little bit more. gold and yellow here, heaven to earth. It's more like the sun streaming down on this side. Okay. 
And so now I'll crisp up the edges and give them a rounder feeling, especially with the green here because it's so much darker than the, the golden um, yellow. get our beautiful sunshiny day with Papa Bear and and brighten up the day. going to get my gold and yellow again. Whoops, I put it in the wrong spot. There we go. And even crisp up this edge more. Forgot to do that over here. There. And then I'm going to stick with my golden yellow and get the sun a little bit on the inside. I'll leave a little white there to give it, for me, I like that feeling of a frame, but you're welcome to connect the two. So you can connect the yellows there instead of leaving a space. And I'll add a little bit of the orange in the corner. There, and now let's see, I'm going to work on my tree a little bit more with the brown and get another branch coming out. There, like that. Um, and then add in the beautiful green leaves leaving it a little bit lighter because it's spring but they're getting they're getting darker than the last the drawings we've done before because they're growing in and their leaves are getting older so we can darken it up a bit and then I'm still going to add yellow for the sunlight yellow like a shouting lemon yellow too so still that little springy feel and the new baby getting bigger leaves maybe they're more like kid leaves now so once we're done with that I'm going to add our numbers in number meadow so I'll start here with zero our egg and then a thumb in between. I'm gonna move these out of the way more. I'm going to go all the way to the end since time's 
does a lot more jumping and goes farther a lot more often than plus. All right, up to 18 for me. I'm not sure how far you got with yours. And we're going to do, now we're going to get to that part with the equation before we add more details into the drawing. So we need, and you can pause if you need some more time to get here, that's fine. And just press play again when you're ready to join back in. Um, we'll need this page now. And I can't go higher than 15 or 18 because that's what I have there. So I'm going to, and this is what you'll need to do. See how high your number goes in number meadow. And then look at all your answers. And you can pick one of the equations that has that number or lower because say if I pick 30 I won't be able to get to 30 because I only have up to 18 so I'm going to think about that for a moment hmm I think I know which one I'll pick so then I'm going to take my golden yellow so that it shows up and I'll underline the one that I'm going to do. So you can do that too. You can pause while you're figuring this out. And I might even add a touch of orange so we can really see it there. So I'm, I'm going to do this one. And you can pick the one, your equation from your sheet yesterday that fits on your number meadow. So pause and do that and then join us again. And then this time I'm going to get the golden yellow. I'm going to write it first in golden yellow and then I'll probably like I did here add some orange on top of the equation so that it really shines out and it's not too light. So I'm going to write that equation up here between the tree and the sun like we've done before. And we can see it okay, but I think I'm still going to add a little bit of orange to brighten it up. That's enough. Yeah. That's showing up more. And you can do the same. And do you know why we're using yellow? The golden yellow? Who is yellow? Yes, Queen Time. So since we're doing times, we're honoring her color yellow. So it should look like that. And then I brought these friends along just to help us. Now you can do that too. We're each going to have a different one. So I can show you as an example mine, and then you can do yours from yesterday. But I have four families who each needed three fruits. So I'm going to get one, two, three, four. And we'll start at zero. And they each need three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we're going to go like that. Four families times three fruits equals 12 fruits that they're going to need all together. So now I'll take that golden yellow again, and that's how I'll jump. So I'm going to start at zero with that big dot, and then jump to three, so Squirrel can move out of the way. Thanks for helping, Squirrel. And then Gnome can move, so Gnome, thank you for helping. And another dot. 
And then Birdie can fly away. Thank you for helping, Birdie. So six jumps to nine. And then thank you for helping, Gnome. And Gnome, um, now we jump from nine to 12, another three. So four, one, because we start here, so that we're not counting that. But here's one family, two families, three families, four families. So we need 12 of those little fruits to get for them. And you can either show bunny hopping or whoever was doing the big hops, because that's when bunny, where did she go? Oh, she's still over here with lamb. That's when she discovered that she could go big hops. Three, six, nine, twelve. So you could show her doing that. And then you can add in some flowers to your meadow. Um, and I like to, you probably remember that, I like to grow them first. So you can add them along. And I'll add probably another one and some butterflies, some shiny bugs in the meadow, and um, maybe a bumblebees or whatever you might like to add. Or times into there <laughs> instead of add. That's silly. So you can pause and finish up your times page. And you know what we didn't do? And I'm going to do it probably... Um, with the golden yellow and then and then the the orange but we had done that with plus and minus i believe so i'm just going to add in the times right there a little bit messy with my orange but we could see it so there it is and yes yeah, so finish that and then join us again so once you've done your whole drawing then don't forget to do your reading for the day. And of course, you could say the end of main lesson verse and blessing and at the end of the school day, the end of school day verse to wonder at beauty. So enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you at our 100 days of school tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening. Goodbye, first grade. Say goodbye, everybody. See you next time.